Don't do it. Don't do it. Wee wees. Wee wees and poo poo. You don't be sharing eye juices with people, do you? Hello everyone, today we are watching a worst reviewed makeup artist by the wonderful Judy D. Check out her channel if you haven't already. I have a feeling this is gonna be a tough one to watch. As I always say in these videos, creativity and individuality have no rules, but makeup has a theory, especially when you're making people pay for it. Oh. Why do they look like torture devices? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Where is my butt supposed to sit? <laughs> It's so uncomfortably thin. Like, how is that gonna hold me? I'm not comfortable looking at it. Extreme neck pain is what- That's no good for anyone's posture, actually. But not while someone is pressing on your face. Just get a normal makeup chair. You can get them on Amazon. We all know, we all know, right? Hygiene, hygiene. You can't just take it out the thing and put it straight onto the person's eyelid. Things you can do, sanitize your hand, roll it on the back of your hand, use a separate brush, roll it onto a palette, or use disposable lip wand, because they're a similar shape. Do you know what might be festering and growing in that eye product? And especially next to your eyes, one of the moistest parts of our face. You don't be sharing eye juices with people, do you? Do you? I, I never understand, and yes, I'm gonna keep pausing it because this is a reaction video. If you wanna see the whole thing, link below. Two things I don't understand. Why people use a base that's darker than the person's skin tone? Same level, I get. Lighter, I get. Even pitch black, I get. But when it's gonna be orange, when it's blended in, not so much. And why use a sponge? You're gonna cover the lashes, you're gonna cover the brows, you're gonna get a bit in the eye. Chica. <laughs> Here's the deal, right? It's okay to want to be tanned. It's okay to want to be bronzed. But you have to confirm with your client, listen, how do you like your skin to look? Do you like to be a little bit lighter? Do you like to be a little bit darker? Do you like to be just the tone you are now? Discuss. Where's the, 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 um, integration, interrogation? But that sounds too, you know, where's the discussion? So remember this? It's on my face. <laughs> I've had tape on before, so it wasn't like, oh my God, crazy surprise. Not the best technique. You shouldn't be doing it. You shouldn't be doing this on clients. One, because there's a few different things, right? And some of it's for your own safety. People can be allergic to the adhesive. Also as well, you might accidentally rip their skin a little bit. If you're going to use tape on a client, you make sure it's that proper like makeup tape or surgical tape, or you on a sanitized hand, you put the tape on and you rip it on and off your skin once or twice or on the palm of your hand, wherever you feel like it's gonna hurt less. Then apply it to the eye so it has less stick, less painful when it's removed. And it's also not gonna drag this delicate skin along with it under the eyes. Obviously, it's very bad for the skin, especially that area of the eye, but I understand the meaning behind it. Like, she wanted to get a, a clean, sure. nice, sharp eye look, which is possible with something called a wipe. <laughs> Especially because she didn't do like the, my face first, like she's doing my eyes first, so I don't understand the purpose of this, yeah. but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes, they're out of control. I'm blinking left, right, and center, Landos. I'm blinking so hard that the shadow is falling off and I'm destroying this makeup. <laughs> okay, that's petty. I know. I'm sorry. But in my defense, my alleged blinking destroys this makeup in the future. Am I psycho? But you know, Landos, what's nice is that until now we're looking nice. I like the blending. She's cutting my crease, which I think is a bit old school, but still, it's cute. And Jen. When you're cutting a crease like that, it's, I mean, using a brush. What's this? What is this? Using the brush like that and dragging, you're gonna get that feathery thing. It's much better to use a curved brush, even though it has a point like this. And you can literally tap the shape on using the edges and the curves of that brush. This isn't gonna be very precise, and if it is gonna be precise, it's gonna take a while to get there. Generally, my eye makeup was nice. <sighs> Apart from the occasional exfoliation I got and will continue to get on my eye, um, generally this process wasn't that bad. It was on the pricier end of the scale. It was $45 without lashes. But, mm? I mean, you kind of do get, like, some value. You know, I did end up liking the eyes, so... See, this is a much better brush, the one that's been switched to. Much nicer, has a natural curve to it. It's gonna be a lot easier to, to use, to create that shape. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't... 
So I don't do it. So next she adds glitter, and for those of you who don't know, I am glitter's biggest hater. Mm, I don't like glitter. Horrible. And it's mainly because it's if not used properly, it's very harmful to the eye. She yeah. seemed like she knew what she was doing, plus it wasn't that intense. So I let it slide. <laughs> and I mean it did actually look cute, to be honest. So we'll This actually is a really nice <laughs> a really nice shape at the moment it has structure it looks symmetrical it looks like it's going good you know what i would do just now add a darker shade to the outside corner some lashes which i would have included in the price because that's a lot for no lashes unless mm, it's not the best brows carry on with the face i feel like something is of course something crazy is going to happen it's, it's julie d's videos also glitter be careful with you know what i always say cheap makeup isn't bad fake makeup is be careful with glitter palettes especially when they are cheaper though because sometimes it's not like cosmetic grade glitter and it's actually really painful on the eyes to try and take it off and if it gets in your eye it's gonna scratch it up and it'll be painful for weeks months years we let this one go no no so she picks up a brush from her brush set and tell me why Linda's tell me why it has more pigment than the other one <laughs> she didn't dip this brush anywhere it, it came ready wow it came ready <laughs> ew obviously it wasn't cleaned before also it's really Ooh. hard to control my eye when she's using such a flat brush i don't think this you know what's happening now that brush is so flat it, it's gonna graze on the glitter when you're doing a cut crease like this right it's always nice to come in with that darker color at this angle at a slight angle <laughs> but tap tap it in to blend you don't always have to rub and buff tapping can blend as well it all depends on how much product you have on that brush but it did get the pigment there like we are looking snatched you know oh my god this liner has no right looking this vicious <laughs> please why does it look like a syringe why does it look like a marker i mean it did do that that is a sharp liner and that looks really good that is the job it did the job great actually nice. i love the liner yeah you know what's important when you're doing a cut crease like this as well with this kind of shape is to have her open her eyes occasionally because you might find that the cut crease is actually dipping below like the, the socket and you lose all the shape and the point in it. So with a cut crease like that and with any eye makeup, it's good to have your client or yourself keep looking forward, down, forward, down, shut, shut your eyes, you know? See how a wipe just instantly reddens someone's skin? Just instantly ditch for wipes. Come on. No. No. Yeah. She did it. She did it. She did it. She did it. Don't do it. Yeah, that thing has been rotting on the floor. Most of the makeup process. Didn't even try to get a match. Didn't even try to get a foundation match. Just going straight with this color. Great. Everyone's yellow. Everyone's yellow. It's fine. Let's just make everyone yellow. Why not? And what do we do? We don't pick it up the minute it fell. No, we leave it there. It has to marinate on the floor. It has to absorb all the dust. You know what could be on the floor? This is why you should never wear your shoes into your bedroom, right? Poo. Wee wees. Wee wees and poo poo from outside could be all on your shoe. Not even a big one, just a little microbes. Poo flakes. Wee flakes. And now someone could have just, you know, got a, stood on a little bit wee wee, could have dried out, could have stepped in that one area. What if she stepped in? I mean, if you live in a city, I've definitely accidentally stood on someone's wee walking through London. And now it's on her face. Little particles. Little poo particles. really bothers me when people aren't delicate around the eyes. Also, you like spent ages cutting off that makeup and now you're gonna go over with a sponge with a million rounded edges. Does a sponge have an edge? And you're gonna lose that precision and definition. Get a brush, just a little fluffy brush, just to br brush it around. Again, hygiene. Greater. Come on. Oy. That's dry. The liner. 
the liner, ma'am. The liner is no joke. You know, at least it was sharp. I think it was a bit too sharp. So yeah. that's, that's clean. That you can see it poke. Look, you can literally see a ridge. It's like, it's like it's ridged and like a blade going into her eye. Also, you might want to come in a little bit higher so you're not physically poking her in the eye. What? <laughs> no, no. What do we, what do, what now? You, you flaked everywhere because you're using a very dense, small, flicky brush. Black is a very messy eyeshadow color. Black and dark blue, right? If you're gonna use black once you've done the foundation concealer, you better be ready to be so careful like you're diffusing a bomb. You know what I mean? You want a small, dense, a dense, brush and you want to tap it on under the eyes if you're wiping backwards and forwards you're going to get fallout especially with not that there's anything wrong with it but a more affordable kind of um eyeshadow texture you're going to get a little fallout even like pressed pigments going everywhere you keep staining it you keep how does she keep staining it what did what did your client do but why, why, if something starts going wrong, right, don't start blaming somebody else for it. Just be like, oh, you know what? Lesson learned. Let's quickly fix this up. Get on with it. You can't tell, so you can't say to someone, don't move. You know what the first thing they're going to do is move. So, and can you imagine, I'm just coming at your eye with this. Try not to blink or move or breathe. So I'm coming in, it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. Figure out what's more comfortable. If you're doing this on, on a customer, you know what the best thing, customer, client, the best thing for them to do, the most comfortable thing for anyone is to look down and then you can pull their eyelid up a little bit. When you look down, you have a little bit more control. If you're looking straight forward, you're gonna kind of want to blink a little bit more. Please. no, no. Cuando te ponga esto, no mires hacia arriba porque manchas demasiado. Hygiene. Aquí está. No mires hacia arriba. Aquí está. Es blanquísima. You're white as fuck. You're white as fuck. <laughs> your neck is whiter than your face. Can I just say, if someone's paying you for something, right? Say I want a new coat, right? And I go into the shop and I'm trying it on and then someone helped me and they're like, oh my God, you're fat as fuck. Your shoulders are too wide compared to your hips. Can you imagine? You're providing a service still. You're not in charge here. Don't ever look down for anything. <laughs> You can see her eyes just staring straight at a light. Give her some shade. Give her a shield. How long is that mascara going to take to dry? <laughs> look, up, look down, look up, look down, look in the middle. Ah, look down. What's the what's the instructions? Why is this? Why I don't understand why you need to look in like fifty different directions. Chin up, look down. You can use your little finger if you want to lift the lid a little bit. Roll and do the mascara. You don't need to look in this way, this way, this way. And you know what? If you are using a disposable, perhaps you can buy a smaller disposable to get right on those inside corners instead of using this giant massive brush that's come with a mascara. That's covered in poo and wheat. No, I don't think it is. All this, all this just to get the tips of a lash. Mm, Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's have a look. You know what? The liner shape is actually quite nice. What I would have checked, like I said, can you see on this side here, when you're doing things like liner and a cut crease, when her eyes were shut, this gray came into a really nice kind of swoopy shape. But with her eyes open, you, all that detail is gone. Same with this liner it dips down and goes like this. So yes, everything might look good with, with the eyes 
shut, but no one's walking around, you know, like this so you can see all their makeup. You have your eyes open, so you need to keep checking where you can start your liner. I always start liquid liner with an eye open. Flick, flick, shut, join it in. You know what I mean? I, I, yeah, I actually would even take in this cut crease slightly higher and use this curve here to join in that gray and bring it out like this. So all that swoopy detail is, is more evident on the lid, more pro prominent. All right, so I will leave a link to the whole video down below there. That makeup artist was very blame, very blameful. Check out Judy D's channel and subscribe to her over there for these videos because they are the best. Consider subscribing to my channel, follow me on TikTok, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.